So the Boston Celtics are 1-0, and and this time it means something. I'm here once again with Jay King and uh, talking a little bit about the Boston Celtics beating the Philadelphia 76ers tonight on opening night. Jay, Jared Sullinger was kind of the story tonight, uh, playing with Kelly Olenek out. What stood out to you about Jared Sullinger's game? Well, I, I just thought he was really good. Uh, obviously, they needed him against Okafor after Okafor had destroyed Tyler Zeller early, in the early going. Uh, but he, I mean, he, he went on a 6-0 run that started a 22-0 run for the Celtics. He really did a nice job, and he, he's just a sign of their depth. You know, he, everybody thought he'd be the fifth big man, and then, whoops, there he is starting the second half. So it's like no one yeah. expected that. There's going to be probably a lot of nights where stuff like that happens, where guys who haven't played in a little while make a big impact, and it, I think that's just what's going to happen with this team because there's they go at least 11 or 12 deep. And that's without knowing what they're going to get from the rookies. So Sollinger had a nice night. What that means going forward, who knows. Uh, (laughs) But on this night, he was good. Definitely. And, you know, he was part of that second unit, um, which was really – this team is so interesting the way they've built themselves. You know, they – a lot of times they don't play well at the start, um, and then they have to dig themselves out of the holes with the second unit. And once again, you know, it was Isaiah Thomas, who, who was the leading scorer for the team. You know, he, he did a great job getting out in transition, finishing layups. He knocked down some jumpers. You know, it was Jonas Jarebko who made a couple of big plays right in a row. Um, it was just, it, it's a lot of guys who come off the bench and, and who really just kind of pick up the slack for the starters when the starters aren't that good all the time. Um, it'll be interesting to see... You know, obviously bringing in David Lee was was supposed to kind of address the problem of the starters, um, or or at least it was supposed to help, you know, or Amir Johnson or whoever ends up starting at that power forward slot. But it's definitely interesting to see that, you know, once again, tonight's game, it was the uh, it was the second unit really getting it done. Um, A big part of that second unit was the small ball lineup, which was something that, you know, this what you see from the small ball unit tonight. Yeah, you know, after a preseason of chatter about traditional lineups and playing bigger, Kelly Olenek was suspended for game one, and Stevens decided, you know what, let's bench Tyler Zeller, and let's go small. And they sent doubles at Okafor. Uh, I thought going small really opened the floor for Isaiah Thomas, who had one of those nights. It was like, like he's struggling, and then, bam, next thing you know, he's got 23 points at the end of the third quarter, and he's having a huge night. Uh, mm-hmm. So he's capable of that. Going small, another Stevens wrinkle – his job is tough. Stevens is. It's like he has so many options, and a lot of them are good options, but he's got to make the snap decisions on, on who to play, um, what lineups work best, and it's not going to be easy every night. Like, like Yeah. And sometimes... It's not some, going to be the Sixers every night. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, he'll he'll probably get it wrong. Like, there will be nights when, when he sits Tyler Zeller, and they could have used Zeller. Obviously, yeah. you know, Stevens got it right tonight. And I think there's a trust that he'll get it right most nights, but he really has a lot of different options to to in a flexible team, and it, it's going to be tough for him. But one and zero so far, undefeated, and atop both the Eastern Conference and the Atlantic Division. I believe the NBA, unless someone's two and zero, I'm not sure, <laughs> but undefeated. We'll just leave it at that. 